Hey guys, welcome back to the Smith's Euro YouTube channel. It's a little weird because I haven't filmed anything in like a month just because of how how this uh, process has been going with this head. Now, as you guys know, we have our Mark II race car and it's getting a 3.6. Now I have the engine block back here. I don't know if you would have seen these videos yet, but you can see I have one block here and another block over there. So lots of things have transpired. But um, with this 3.6 head, my whole goal and idea, I had this in my mind since I wanted to do a 3.6 all motor project. I wanted to delete direct injection and I wanted to port out all of the area inside the runners where the injectors would have gone through and I wanted to weld the cylinder head. That way I can raise compression. Now, these are like 12.4, um, the, the stock compression ratio is like 12.4 and I think I gained a little bit I'll show you like pictures and all that kind of stuff. It's gonna be a weird like overview -y kind of talking video. But I'm gonna tell you guys, this cylinder head has been so much work. It's been unbelievable. First, I took the head, I took it all apart, cleaned everything, you guys saw, saw that. I even uh, blasted it with walnuts to clean all the intake ports and all that to see what I was starting out with and figuring out. And then I went and I bought myself a lathe because this type of thing is, it's all R&D. So it's, um, I'm making everything, it's all in my head. If I went to a machine shop to have them make these plugs, so here's a plug right here, and here's a plug right here. Now if I would've had a machine shop make those, it would've probably been an absurd amount of money. So this is all a concept in my head. So yeah, I bought a lathe, bought some aluminum, and started measuring stuff and I made my own stuff. There's a saying, I know where all the bodies are buried. So everything that's wrong with this head or that I think in my head could be better, I know it. And uh, every pass that I make, that stuff will be in the back of my mind, unfortunately, but I think I did an excellent job. Now, these, these um, plugs, when I made them, these are all different sizes. Th these injectors are crazy the way they are. They're long, they're short. There's so many different size tapers. Like it really is a lot to try to make this stuff. Now I made these all to where they are press in fit. So I would have to heat the cylinder head up, put these in the freezer sometimes and beat them with a hammer in there as hard as I could. And then you can see, so this port that used to have an injector going right through it. And now you can see it's more like a, uh, a 24 valve. Whenever I say a 24 valve, think of like a Mark IV, uh, 28 or 32. The 36 is way different, but it's similar, you know, same, same, but different. So I ported all this stuff out. I've got heaps more airflow and I'm just really excited with this concept. I'm gonna show you all these pictures and videos. They're just crappy cell phone video and pictures. This process has taken me I would say at least one month to make the cylinder head. That is making all these plugs, that's doing all this grinding. The grinding, I really have to thank my buddies at work, Frank and Tim, for just listening to it because anytime it was lunch break, anytime there was a car I was waiting on parts, I was just blasting their eardrums with grinding, 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 grinding. I, it, it was absurd the amount of grinding I had to do on this stuff to get everything out where I needed it. And that was just to hog everything out just to see the concept. Then I had to refine everything. I had to polish everything. Like it's just been absurd. That's the only word to describe this project. Now I am really, really, I'm shooting for the moon with horsepower numbers. I did order a set of custom cat cams, but they are just, they're just not here. Um, it's been about four months so far. Oh well, but we're just gonna run stock camshafts for now. Uh, we're, that means we're gonna probably have to retune a lot of this airflow because the lift and duration from these cams to the cams I'm going with, it's again, absurd. So uh, this thing's gonna be really, really rowdy. And when I get the, the big cams, it's just gonna be that much more rowdy. So. I'm really shooting for 350 horsepower. I really think it's obtainable 
and maybe even more. I'm just trying to use basic fuel like E85 and gonna see where it goes. Also in the process of wiring up the car, I got most of the chassis side done. So just, there's a lot to come. You can see I did do uh, SuperTech dual valve springs with titanium retainers. So this thing should handle 8,500. Um, that's, what, that's what I plan to rev to. Again, we'll have to take it to the dyno when the new cams come and uh, see where the power is. Now we are going to be locking a, the exhaust cam with this um, just because from what I've gathered and what other people have told me, uh, you really don't gain anything besides fuel economy when you're adjusting uh, variable cam timing on exhaust. But we are gonna be doing it with intake. So we can, it, we can I think it's uh, advance it to bring our torque curve earlier and then you can lessen it out, make it zero again to kind of bring it up top. That's about as much as I know of it. It's all gonna be set to zero for now and we'll, we'll uh, adjust it later on in the tune. It's not gonna be something I mess with off the get-go. But yeah, that, that takes care of all that stuff. Let me spin the head so you guys can see this. Now, if you've ever seen a 3.6 head, you'll know that the injectors come right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. And you can see there's odd little discrepancies and stuff like that, like this side of the cylinder of the combustion chamber has this weird divot, whereas this side doesn't. Kind of one of those things where I just made it how I can make it. So this is all welded, ground flat. This is all welded, ground down, and I tried to make a nice line with this combustion chamber, same with here. Again, this is all just things that I've thought in my head and I, I did see that there was another company who did something similar but they're on the other side of the world and uh, hard to get in contact with so again I, just me being me I wanted to do it myself and you can also see that I did knock down the spark plug threads they used to stick up really high I thought that that would have been a point of uh, detonation so I took it out um, so this head is ready to go and I'm just so excited. Let's show you guys back here. I did do a lot of porting back here. I think it's all pretty nice, pretty nicely done. Everything's nice and, and even. Everything's nice and smooth. I, I did as much research as I could. I asked people, like I said, this is just gonna be a short video. In the next video, you guys will see me bolting the engine together, getting everything on there, transmission, everything, and getting it back in the car. Guys, I'm just, I'm so excited. I really don't even want to record because it's a hassle. I just, I just want to get this done. There's, there, it's been so much time waiting for this at the machine shop. I just, I want to get this in the car and I just need to hear this fire up. So see you guys in a second.